Good afternoon, Fantasy Bay. Mike Williams here with another Week 8 Game Preview. And today we're going to be going over the Lions versus the Giants. Let's get it started. We're going to start with the Giants. Daniel Jones. Let's make this one quick. You're not starting Daniel Jones. <laughs> uh, wide receivers. Keep your eye on Sterling Shepard. See if he plays. If he plays, he is a decent play. The Lions are middle of the pack against the wide receiver, allowing 22.9 fantasy points per game. Uh, let's go down to Golden Tate. Golden Tate is a wide receiver three-ish. He's been playing pretty decent. He had 14 fantasy points last game. He's averaging 14 over the over the season. He's uh, ranked 29th out of all the wide receivers. He's had a couple of busted plays. You like that? He had 80 fantasy, 80 rushing yard. He had 80 receiving yards last week. Uh, a little tongue tied there. All right, let's get down to Saquon Barkley. Of course, you are starting him. He is a top three running back this week. I, got, I have him below Dalvin Cook and Christian McCaffrey, but of course you are starting him every week. And it's a juicy matchup against the Lions, allowing 25.9 fantasy points a game, which is third in the league. Fantastic. Of course, Saquon Barkley is going off. And Evan Ingram, I believe he bounces back. I know he had a bad week last week. Uh, one fantasy point, five receptions for... Not, he didn't play too great. He played pretty bad, actually. Five targets for one reception, I apologize. Uh, for six yards, absolutely awful. Played terrible. Um, I still think you should play him, though. I think he's going to be a top five tight end this week, so start him up. Uh, and I'm not starting the Giants defense against the Lions. Lions played great last week. All right, so let's go over to the Lions. Matthew Stafford has been on Fuego. 36 fantasy points last week. Uh, week four, he had 29 fantasy points. Last week, he had 10, averaging 20 fantasy points on the year. That ranks him at seventh most fantasy points this year. Fantastic. You like that. Uh, let's go with it. I actually think he'd be a great play this week. Top five. Uh, if you have Matthew Stafford, I think you're set up for a good week against the Giants. Giants are 12th against the quarterback, allowing 20 fantasy points. I think that Kenny Galladay as well, I think he has a nice bounce back game. You don't, I don't think that he's going to get two targets this game. Marvin Jones was just on way go. Absolute fire last game. So they had to give him uh, some targets. He was obviously catching touchdowns. So I think that Kenny Galladay, it gets shifted back into his uh, wheelhouse. He had, Two targets last game, nine the week before that, nine the week before that. He's averaging eight. He's going to go back to being normal. Marvin Jones, I definitely still think it's a playable option this week. I have him at the low end wide receiver too. Um, I think he has some great upside. He's always been talented. He just wasn't getting the targets before, but last week, targets came. He was getting five targets, five targets, now 13 targets. I, I believe that goes down, but if it stays anywhere near 10, that would be fantastic. Uh, carry on Johnson, unfortunately, went out with an injury. Uh, you hate to see that. I was hoping that he'd come back, but by the time he comes back, it's going to be week 16, and you're not going to play him. So, unfortunately, I believe he's done for the year. Ty Johnson comes back, and he is going to be filling in the carry on Johnson role. I do think that uh, J.D. McKissick will also get some love. And if you're in a full-point PPR league and you're desperate, I think that he might be a decent play, but... Ty Johnson looks like he has a hold over this backfield. I don't think that he's going to be as productive as Carrion Johnson, but I do think that he will be a viable substitute. A middle running back two-ish. He should get the volume. TJ Hawkinson, man. He's been disappointing this year. Uh, he has been averaging 8.7 fantasy points, though. But last two games, six fantasy points. He's dropped so many touchdowns. It's unbelievable. Uh, and I'm also not really starting the Lions defense if I don't have to, but it would be an okay play, but I'm definitely not trying to. All right, guys, that's going to do it for uh, week seven or week eight game preview, Lions versus the Giants. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See below for uh, all the rest of my social media. See you, Fantasy Bay.